Hi, I'm Sensei Frank. And I'm Sam. And welcome back to Tech Tiger Martial Arts. Deflecting hammer, setting the trap. Setting the trap is, a, is an idea that allows you to understand the intention of your attacker so that you can defend yourself using his own will, wants, and desires. In the fight, we're standing off. We've been throwing punches at each other and then all of a sudden he kicks. Once I know that he has the intention of kicking me, then I can start to set the trap using deflecting hammer. We want to be at the right distance. If my hand is here, one arm's length distance, when Sam kicks, he can kick through my body. This is very important because a lot of times the person is coming in firing these shots and then the kick comes and we have to be ready for that, that position. Our attacker is gonna be on the offensive. He's gonna be coming in driving. We're gonna be here and we need to be ready to uh, um, defend ourselves from those kicks. So creating the hollow pocket. Very important, knowing the distance. Now, one thing I do not want to do is I do not want to bait him by putting my arm out because he can simply grab the hand and then kick. And that will devastate and just crush my ribs. I don't want to do that. I always want to have the hands on the rim of protection. And then if he kicks, I just simply want to get out of the way. Now I know he wants to try to kick me. From that point on, I can set the trap. The arm and hand position, very important. The elbow always wants to be on the rim of protection, covering the ribs. The hand up high, shoulder height, protecting my face and my upper body. My left hand wants to cover the ribs with the elbow and guards my center line here so that when I'm in this position, if Sam wants to kick me, his intention is gonna be focused on the very small area and I can learn to defend that area very quickly. So from here, from this point, Sam comes in to kick, I can get out of the way. He does it again, I can get it out of the way. Now I'm measuring that distance. So when he comes in, I have the ability to use his own attack against him. Now here are two examples of the self-defense move deflecting him. Notice the arm position on the rim of protection and how the arms are tight close to the body when the attacker kicks, which allows the defender to go through the move.